Hello guys, today I'm going to do a quick review on this Inomoto shaft tester. This is the original package it looks like, and it's come with two pieces. Um, one, it is the size for 1.99, and the other one is 1.97, which is right here. Okay, the difference uh, between um, two size, 1.99 is a little bit bigger and 1.97 a little bit smaller. So the reason they have two different sizes because that's for uh, testing different type of shaft. So the one for the 1.99, this is for the um, reinforced shaft, okay? So this one right here, the black one, okay? The one, it is 1.97, this is for the hollow shaft, which is right here. Okay, so the hollow shaft actually the center is empty. Okay, it's a hollow. Then let's talk about the benefit of the uh, shaft tester. The uh, shaft tester, the purpose it is, it's very obviously to test the shaft. It is the straight or uh, not straight, because most of the time your shaft, I believe the more than fifty percent out of form, um, out of out of package, it is not a hundred percent straight. So that's why we have to using a shaft tester to eliminate the one it is not straight, okay? Um, the reason you want to make sure the shaft is straight because most of the time and when you have the crooked um, shaft being installed to the car, you will notice uh, the wheel is going to be crooked when it uh, spins, okay? Then if the shaft is not straight, and sometimes you will notice the gear which is attached to the shaft, it's kind of a little bit waggle or either uh, vibrate, okay? That's what happened because the shaft is not straight, okay? So anyway, for testing the shaft is not straight, first thing we have to make sure oh, which side we have to choose. The one says 1.99 right here. This is the one for the reinforce. And the one says 1.97, which is right here. This is for the, um, for the hollow shaft. Okay, let's move to... Um, how to um, operating this shaft tester. So I'm gonna go ahead using this 72 millimeter ring for shaft. By the way, the, sh um, the package says this is for 72 millimeter shaft, but actually it's, it works with the 60 millimeter as well. So it doesn't really matter, okay? So let me go ahead and open this brand new uh, ring for shaft, okay? So this is brand new out of from the package. Okay, so I'm gonna use in the 1.99. So let me just go ahead and try to test it. See, this one is not straight. So when the shaft is not straight, cannot even go through the shaft tester. So it's gonna gotta block in the middle of the way. And when you insert to here, you will feel resistant. Okay, a lot of resistant. Okay, so which means this shaft is cooked a lot. And let's try next one. And this one also, you're gonna feel more resistant. It stopped in the halfway, so which means it's really crooked. And let's go ahead and check the other one. Uh, this one bad too. And let me go ahead. Okay. This one's not working either. Okay. So here the sample is the one I have. It is straight, and you can you will notice. If the one it is straight, it will pass right away like this. When you insert to it, let it go, you will just go through, okay? And if you ask me uh, the 1.97, if it works with the reinforced one, it does, but uh, it's hard to pass. See that? This is the one I'm testing earlier, the straight one, but I don't really pass the um, 1.97 which means this is really too small for the reinforced shaft, okay? So if it works, you will realize it can go through right away. Or either some of the shaft just maybe just cook a little bit, like this one right here, okay? So you can feel it is don't really have too much resistance. You can like smoothly pass the canal. So which means this is still okay, but it's just not a perfect. But if you drop it like this, it will pass. So, um, but if you insert slowly, slowly, you will feel a little bit resistant. But that means this shaft is not 100% straight. It's just not that perfect. If the shaft is perfect like this one, if you insert slowly, it will pass. Okay? So anyway, 
So that's why I try to tell you the most um, the shaft out of from package is not really straight like this one right here. I just open it, all of them is not straight. It's really hard to find a, a one shaft is 100% straight like perfectly. The only way you can find a perfect one, you have to buy a whole bunch of the uh, shaft and test all of them. Maybe you can find or either open a couple package. You will eventually you will find one. Okay. Okay. Next, let's take a look at this one. The the size it is 1.97. The 1.97 actually again it is for the hollow shaft, which is this one right here. So the hollow shaft it is have empty design in the center, so it's a hollow. Okay. So the hollow one actually it's a it's a smaller and it's more better quality than the um, than the reinforced one. And for my experience, the forty to sixty percent the hollow shaft out of from pack it is a hundred percent straight. And compare with the uh, reinforced one, reinforced one only like a twenty to thirty percent it is a hundred percent straight. So let's take a look at the hollow one. I have a uh, sample right here, so you can see. If it's straight, it will pass like this one. This one almost there. It's don't you don't really this one. It is not really perfect, but it it is too straight because uh, if it drop like like this, it will pass. But if I if I insert slowly, you I will feel a little bit resistant. It's maybe the surface not clean. So I try to clean a little bit. Let's see if it still have some resistance. Okay, so it works better. So sometimes you're testing your shaft. So your shaft have a little bit of dust or some dirty stuff on the on the surface of a shaft. Make sure you clean it because that's gonna be block you as well. Okay. So after you clean it, you will realize the shaft can go so e a little bit easier. Okay. So let me just go ahead and clean again. Okay, like this. And then let me go ahead and test the other one. So this one is straight as well. So that's straight, even you insert slowly, slowly. So if it's straight one, you insert to it, it will pass right away. Like this one, this is not really straight. So no matter what you do, you'll get a block. Okay, but I highly recommend um, when you're testing it, and uh, if you feel it's got a block, and using your finger, try to push little by little, feel like how many resistance they have. Because most of the time, the shaft is not really that crooked. It still can pass, like this one right here. You can feel a little bit resistant, but it still can go so to the other side. So, which means this one's still straight, it's just not perfectly. Okay? Like this one right here. And also, make sure you clean the shaft and the test again. And um, for the cleaning, the a shaft test I highly recommend using the power shot which is this one the electric model cleaner spray so they have a small like a, the a stroke right here so you can insert to here to spray or either using some air compressor um, um, bottle and to clean that as well okay so you can feel this one don't really have too much resistance if you pull like this way I'm pretty sure it will pass. See that? Same as this one right here. Okay. So you can feel a little bit resistant, but it is fine because most of shaft again it is maybe it's not a not a perfect, but it's it's still um more than like 99% straight. It maybe just have a little bit like a little bit crooked, it's can't it's don't really matter. Okay. So here we go. This is in the motor shaft tester. It has in the motor logo on it and also have the number of the different size right here. And this is the original package looks like. Okay, so the package says made in Japan, which is right here. And this is OEM by the coast. This is the company manufactured RC in Japan. So anyway, we finished here today. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment.